How's it going guys? It's Street Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Nexus player because D-Hacker just went, whipped up a nice version of Saijin Mod Recovery for it. So you can see I've got it installed right here on my screen um, on my Nexus player and we're going to show you guys how to install it. It should be an easy video so let's go do this. Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Saijin Mod Recovery on this device right here. This is the Nexus Player. Um, so, to do this, there's going to be a couple quick steps. If you haven't seen any of my videos before on this device, definitely check out the playlist on it. But basically you got to turn on developer settings. And to do that, you're going to need to go into here, about, and go down to build number and just select build number a bunch of times until it says right here, no need, you are already a developer. From here, just go back and scroll down and you should see this right here, developer options. So we'll select that and you'll go right here to debugging, turn on debugging and then right there, make sure USB debugging is turned on. So from here, you're going to need to plug this into your computer. Um, basically, there's a a USB port on the back of the device, micro USB. So on the uh, circle here, you guys can see it, yeah, right there. Um, go ahead and plug that in, and then plug it into your computer. And we should be able to send command window uh, commands through ADB to get CM or Saijin Mod Recovery installed on this device, thanks to a D Hacker. This guy is awesome. I love following his stuff. He always puts out cool things for everybody to check out. So to do that, let's go to our computer and let me just show you what we're gonna do. All right guys, here we are. This is our files right here. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a couple files. You're gonna need these four. These are the ADB Fastboot files. These are in my Android SDK file, but I'll give you a link to a zip that just contains just the four files that you're gonna need, okay? I'm also gonna give you a link to right here, uh, Fugu CM Recovery. This is like I said by D-Hacker and this is really cool. So, basically, once you get recovery, it's really easy to get root access. You can flash a Super Sue zip and all those kinds of things if you want. Um, it also allows you to install custom ROMs if we ever get to that point on this device. So, big props to D-Hacker once again. All right, so right here in this window, wherever you extract all this stuff to, open that folder up and put everything in there, those four files plus the recovery. Then just hold Shift, right click on your computer, open command window here, and you're gonna be with this sucker. So to make sure ADB is functioning, correct, type in ADB devices, if I can spell correctly, and then it should come back with a serial number and then the device. So that means we're connected, everything's functioning correctly. If you don't have drivers already installed, um, I can give you a link to those also in the video description. I'm just kinda doing a quick video here, so bear with me. So we're gonna type in ADB reboot, boot loader. This is going to require that you already have your bootloader unlocked. Um, if you haven't done that, again, check out some of the other videos I have on this device. It should cover all of that for you. So here you go. There's a little unlock icon right there. That proves that we have an unlocked bootloader. And here is my bootloader. So from here, we're going to type in fast boot devices to again make sure our drivers are functioning correctly. Again, it should return with the serial number and say fastboot. So from here we can flash this version of recovery. So to do it, you're gonna go ahead and um, type in fastboot flash recovery space. And then you're just gonna take the file and drag it right into the window and then hit enter. And you should see, there it goes, flashing, dun da 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 ba 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 all done. We are done on the computer. That is the simple method. It is done. Okay guys, so from here we have that recovery flashed. Basically the way you're going to maneuver and operate recovery is using the main console here. So there's a circle button right in the bottom of the console. And I'm going to show you how it works. So if you just click it once, it's going to allow you to cycle through your bootloader. So you can see the different things it lets you do. And then when you get on what you want to select, like recovery mode, then just Press and uh, long press it. Wait about two seconds and release. And that's gonna go ahead and boot the device into whatever mode you select. That is actually the exact same method we're going to use when scrolling through recovery. 
So again, this is Saijinmod Recovery. Now I'm a little excited for this just because Saijinmod Recovery is new to me. I've never ever used it or seen it even honestly. So really excited for this. I know um, Clockwork Mod Recovery doesn't work on Lollipop. Obviously Saijin Mod Recovery does. So that's a nice improvement there. Haven't checked it out at all on any device yet. So right here you got um, Reboot System now, Apply Update, Wipe Data Factory Reset, Wipe Cache Partition, Wipe Media, Reboot to Bootloader, which we were just in, Power Down, or View Recovery Log. So I'm going to go and if you want to apply something to your device like Flash uh, ROM or SuperSU to get root access, basically you're going to go to Apply Update. So I selected it and I'm going to long press and then release when it turns green. And I'm going to go down to choose uh, from internal storage and I'm going to go ahead and long press that. And then I'm going to go to zero folder because that is your SD card or internal storage and long press that one. And then probably you'd have it in like downloads, for example. So I'll long press that one. And then it'd probably be listed here and you could flash it. All right. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to back out. I don't have that on here. I already have root, ac root access anyway. So to back out of here, just long, long press the top one. Scroll back up to the top, that little slash mark. Long press it again. And then one more time, long press it. It's kind of like your back button. And then I'm going to reboot system now. Whoop, got to long press it though. Reboot system now. There you go. So that is basically how you navigate. It's all done, like I said, through the little circle here with the button in the center of it. And that's how you get custom recovery on your Nexus player. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for more coverage on the Nexus player and all the devices I cover. I've kind of been jumping all over the place. I got so many of them. But hope you have been enjoying this. And um, like I said, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more coverage. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.